I'm Ellen. And I'm Robert. And this is Science Scene. Today we're looking at depression and binge-watching TV shows. House of Cards fanatic Yuni Sung and Prison Break binger Eun Kong are graduate students in the advertising department, and they recently researched people who binge-watch TV shows. They found that people who watch more than two episodes in one sitting tend to be more depressed or lonely than those who don't. These bingers also had a harder time with self-regulation, or getting themselves to stop doing something they know they're not supposed to do. This is just a preliminary study, but depression is serious business. About 16% of the population experiences a depressive episode at some point during their lives. That's like two of the 13 Cylons from Battlestar Galactica. And according to the CDC, 8% of the population, or one of the Cylons, experienced depression within the last two weeks. In one study, researchers read words to subjects and asked them to write the words down. Morning, die, disgust, groan, poor. That's what a non-depressed person might write down. However, someone prone to depression... Well, they might have heard something else. Additionally, eye-tracking studies found that depressed individuals spend more time focusing on sad pictures than non-depressed people do. They'll also spend less time looking at happy pictures than non-depressed people do. How can you tell the difference between being depressed and just being in a bad mood? The key difference is persistence. If someone you know, including yourself, has been persistently sad for two weeks or more and has lost interest in everyday activities, it may be helpful to call the UT Counseling and Mental Health Center at 512 471-3515. However, if your binge watching stems from just needing to know what cruel and conniving actions Frank and Claire Underwood will do next in their quest for power, then it may just be a case of good television. For more about this study and depression in general, check out today's science scene, part of the life and arts section of your daily Texan.